What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Cher here with PC DJ Dex3. Uh, this is a quick demonstration of the new effects grid, uh, which is also your loop grid. Uh, both your loops and effects can be manipulated from this new grid. Um, first thing you want to make sure you are in the effects grid uh, section, or rather tab. Um, normally, this is how the program is going to open up. It's going to open up, and this is basically standard audio mode. Uh, you got your standard mixer controls here. Uh, and your new effects and loop module here, uh, sandwiched in between your EQs for your individual decks, or deck A and B anyway. So as you can see right here, what we have is a horizontal and vertical axis grid. Okay, So you've got your loop is your first option here. And just quickly to explain what this is, you got your loops and effects down here vertically. You've got loop, echo, Delay, reverb, fl uh, phaser, flanger, and auto pan. Pretty standard stuff. We'll be adding more effects as we move along throughout this year through various updates. And then across here, you have one, two, three, four, which represent each of your decks deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four. So what we have is these little squares, which are basically, think of them as virtual LEDs that are off currently. Um, loops will be indicated with yellow any effects that applied is, is red. So let's show you that real quick. We'll make sure my volume's down for the purpose of this video, uh, just to show you how this works. So we're gonna play on deck A. We're gonna hit this loop button. Now, there's two ways to make sure that uh, your loop controls are being applied to the deck you wanna apply them to. One is just to quick click the square. And obviously, if you're using a DJ controller, this is all automated through the DJ controller. If you apply an effect on deck A, it's automatically going to, um, you know, manipulate these LEDs or turn them on, turn them off, depending on if you're applying an effect or a loop. So that's one way to do it. Now, if I click over here, you'll see these uh, little circular uh, buttons or square buttons with circular um, icons on them. Uh, when they're clicked, it'll automatically switch the uh, loop module to a, uh, that deck to controlling that particular deck. So we'll go back to deck A. If I click standard 8-beat loop, it's gonna trigger an 8-beat loop and you're gonna see here that it lights up that LED, which tells you right away by looking at the grid that I'm applying a loop on deck A. Now you can also apply effects while you're in a loop or multiple effects. So we'll click on our phaser, turn it on. And you've got standard controls for each of your effects, they are different per effects depending on what um, parameters uh, would would uh, control that effect properly. So right now we got a phaser on, and of course we can apply multiple effects. We got delay, we can apply the flanger as well, and you've got all these on at the same time. So you're, you're layering in your effects. Um, now if I want to turn anything off, obviously that's going to turn off which one I'm highlighted. We can just go through our effects. And toggle them on or off and come out of our loop so I could have a, obviously a loop going on deck A you know over here on deck B got a, got the uh, phaser applied and I can also throw in a loop if I wanted to so that's it I mean it gives you a quick visual reference point uh, to know if you're in a loop or if you've had applied effect to that subsequent deck um, and of course, you can do the same for deck three or four. Uh, so that's it. And we're getting real close to the launch here. Um, in fact, we're probably going to public beta test a release candidate here soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and keep checking back as I'll continue to release uh, demonstration videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks.